Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a very interesting FM ARP that kind of sounds hollow, but also pleasing to the ear. Anyway, so this is how we do that. So new preset here. Let's go to analog. The first oscillator here is going to be a sine wave. And then we're going to do a little bit of FMing here. So what we need to do is basically get the second envelope and put it here. So we're kind of getting something like that, right? But for the third oscillator, because that's going to be the oscillator that we're FMing the first one with. So let's bring this to a sine wave and bring this up one octave here. Maybe two. See how it sounds. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's give it a good amount here. And then for the second envelope here, let's kind of bring down our decay a little bit. Maybe the decay as well, or the decay curve. We don't want any sustain, so let's bring that down. So we're kind of getting that kind of sound. And then for our ARP, let's kind of turn this on in the beginning here. Let's go to the arpeggiator. And what we can actually do is probably go for two, I guess, two steps right here. And the second octave is bring this up here so we can have something like this. So that's going to be kind of the majority of the thing. Now for our synthesizer here section, let's go for the second envelope and put that on the cutoff. So we're kind of getting the same rhythmic feel of that. And this part, this part is kind of up to you depending on what kind of filter you want. I kind of like for something like this, maybe the Jupiter 8. It's still soft and kind of nice. So that's the sound we're going to be basically working from. So here in the effects, what we can probably do is kind of what I always do, right? Get some of the nasty stuff out first. Some of that. Maybe bring this up just a tad here. And then we're going to work off some delays here. So just our regular basic delay here. Let's turn this on ping pong and go one over eight. A little bit more dry wet here and all stereo with all the way now here is the icing on the cake so something like this is really cool with a shimmer reaver but we gotta bring this down a little bit because it gets out of control So you see what I mean? It's kind of crazy here. So we can bring down the drive a little bit here as well. And maybe the feedback and the size a little bit too. And maybe a little bit increasing ducking. So we just have a little bit more, I guess they poke out a little bit easier. And since we want kind of a little bit of movement, what we can either do is modulate the voice pan or we can put a rotary here because we kind of have a, or a stereo pan actually, not a rotary. And that's kind of cool, especially if we keep this in beat with our song. So let's go straight only and see what half note sounds like. That might be kind of cool. Okay, the speed's cool. It's just a little bit too much here. That might be kind of cool like that. Maybe a little bit more delay, because this kind of can work off delays a lot. And change the high pass here. What we can also do as well is bring our stereo pan down one, our reverb down, and on here, let's put another delay here. And this one is going to be one over eight, so maybe we can do one over four, but maybe make this a dotted one over four, something like that. It's kind of interesting there as well, and do our EQ as well here, increase the stereo spread, and maybe ping pong for both.
and generally what I always like doing as well, because I think this is pretty close to what we wanted here. We can always go to the utility engine, turn this bad boy on, and then bring this down, macro three, drop it here, and take this perhaps out of the filter and go to direct out. So that way we can kind of get a little bit more of a sub, something like that, right? Okay, so let's add our macros here. So for the cutoff here, maybe just bring this down something like that and give our macro here a pretty healthy amount and label this cut off. And macro two is going to be resonance because we already know that. Bring this down, drop, drag and drop, bring that up. Kind of sounds like mysterious, right? You're kind of like figuring something out that you, you should have known the whole time. Yeah, I think you get the point here. So macro three, we did that for the sub. So let's put their sub like that. And we do have a healthy amount, so that's fine. And the last one, the fourth one, we're gonna use this for effects here. So drag and drop on both delays here. The first one is 39, so that's gonna be 0.39. The second delay is 22. So bring that to 22, something like that. And then the last one here is going to be a shimmer. So 17%, we can do that, something like that. And then, yeah. I don't know if I hmm. Maybe we can put this on a macro. I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna put it like that anyway, just in case here. So I guess we'll go something like that. So once we increase the effects, we have basically that. Label this as FX, and here we go. Let's check this out. Oh man, that one's fun to play. So I guess we're gonna call this the uh, the Woody Arp. Woody is that is that weird? The Woody Arp of wood, I guess. The wooden Arp. I think it's a little bit better than Woody Arp. Okay, so the wooden Arp. If you want to get the wooden Arp, there's a free link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.